All right, now let's uh, head on to the markets. We have Ini standing by right there with all the details. Ini, again, the banking stocks uh, saw that counted down about over 2% yesterday. Yeah. yeah, but not just the banking stocks. Uh, you know, MTN Nigeria oh, yeah, MTN is a major big, yeah. uh, driver of the market. Yeah, yesterday, it went down drop. also more than 2%. So that's also contributed to that uh, uh, negative sentiment in the market at the NGX yesterday. Well, let's look at the details now, Ladi. Uh, we see that the OSHA index was down 0.16%. Equities cap uh, was at 28.634. Um, and then we see that, uh, well, even though the activity chart was positive as at yesterday, we see that uh, there was a, a lot of uh, negative movements that we did see at the market yesterday. I uh, wonder if uh, those uh, predictions by some economists that, uh, well, the bank is actually paying the price for some of the political movement that we see. Well, I wonder if that's what's going on. But we did see that uh, the market has been on the negative uh, lady the unlisted market also uh, was down yesterday uh, more than one percent market cap also was uh, about one trillion uh, naira there we see that there were 12 deals as at yesterday lady uh, it's going to be a short one for the market today yeah i've seen that <laughs> not, not but the, the market is not looking <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> uh, right now, we're seeing all I, of I those. Be, I bet you that the crypto market is also not looking that... Uh... No market is safe, you know, <laughs> at this point in here. And I'm yes. wondering where the safe uh, mm. haven is. Maybe commodities? <laughs> because we've seen commodities actually have a good run, but we don't yeah, know because, if that I mean, run is going to continue. There will always be consumption because people will survive and all that. Right. It's all about inflation right now. Mm -hmm. Risk off at yes. this point. All right, Ni, thank you so much. Uh, let's uh, take a look at other markets now. We see uh, the Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin and the crypto markets still in extreme fear. Seven points over 100. That's, that's not been seen in a, a while. And we're seeing uh, seven points uh, this morning. Market cap still below the $1 trillion mark, uh, $938.71 uh, billion for the market cap. That's uh, up by 4.19%. I will see the uh, volume traded in the total crypto space up 25.8%. Uh, uh, Bitcoin dominance, check out that uh, slide now. We we'll see Bitcoin dominance there, 44.37%. Uh, uh, Bitcoin did spike below that 21,000 uh, level last traded at this price. Uh, that was the month of December 2020. A lot happening in that market now. We we'll see volume traded for uh, Bitcoin there, 50.69%. Uh, billion dollars. Let's look at the uh, price of Ethereum there. $1,176. That's up 4.46%. Volume traded $34.68 billion. We see the bulls uh, manning that $1,000 support there for Ethereum. Top of the market cap, we see BNB there up 5.17%. Uh, Cardano, the one of the biggest movers there, uh, up 9.44%. All right, let's bring in uh, Gilbert Jopata now, uh, digital market analyst. Hello, Gilbert. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Ladi. Morning, Gilbert. So uh, I see ARK Invest are not as bearish as uh, other asset managers. While everyone's complaining about, you know, Bitcoin's dance with the stock market, they're saying there's opportunity. What do you see? I also see opportunity. Uh, uh, as well uh, in, in cryptocurrency. There is more uh, upside potential because people are beginning to see beyond the current market phase and, and see what is more to come. And the Fed also increasing uh, interest rates is also uh, helping people also see through what is happening in the uh, current macroeconomic uh, trend. Because presently, they have just increased the cost of borrowing, making it more expensive simultaneously with an increase in interest rates. On the other hand, there's quantitative uh, tightening, which was offloading their assets of their balance sheets, which is literally uh, the Fed's uh, crashing assets just to maintain the territorial uh, integrity of, of the dollar. On the, on the other hand, they are also overextending their monetary policy to other currencies of the world uh, because we also know that the dollar is a reserve currency 
of of the world. But the the, the question is, uh, how long will this continue? Because if they, if they continue this way, they are either going to send us into a recession or a possibly a stagflation. And the election is put coming. And they wouldn't, the present administration would not like to go to the poll uh, with this state of the market. So uh, despite them thinking that this may continue, the question is, I don't see the Fed continuing uh, an increase in, uh, or in interest rates. And, you know, with this 75 basis points uh, increase, what we're seeing, you know, Bitcoin still uh, quite stable with uh, most of the altcoins. But do you think this would last? I, I think we are near bottom. This does not mean that we will not have a little more uh, down. For now, uh, crypto and growth stock have been a major beneficiary of, of low interest rates. Uh, but the high interest rates, you know what happens on risks on an environment, uh, assets like this go down. But at, at this point, we are beginning to see through uh, what is happening at the global microeconomic scene. And also, mainstream adoption is going to be another major driver to maintain uh, prices of cryptocurrencies. Right. And, you know, b before this uh, drawdown, we saw... Uh, play to earn uh, uh, tokens were, were, were uh, doing pretty well. Uh, DeFi has not really had much uh, action in the market. But with this bear market, what trend do you think is uh, sort of coming up at this point in the crypto space? Presently, I have not seen any major uh, trend come up. Uh, literary, what is taking over the market is the need to hold uh, Bitcoin because it, it, during uh, periods like this, uh, mainstream uh, institutional investors always like to go into assets that are more solid and battle tested. So moments like this, the best place to hedge or the best place to be invested in is always in Bitcoin and other major uh, large market cap uh, crypto cryptocurrencies uh, until after capitulation it will be a little bit more you're taking more risks to invest into assets that are not a uh, solid asset like bitcoin and any other mainstream or large market cap cryptocurrencies and i'm talking about hedging at this point we know what's happening with stable coins we saw what happened with uh, uh luna there are we still uh, okay with uh, stable coins like USDT, BUSD? Do you see pressure, you know, coming on those stable coins? Because this is the time you need to you need some stability in your portfolio. Okay. Yes, I, I think this is uh, making uh, uh, users of the of the market or those who don't necessarily come into the market for a speculative purpose. People who really have uses or real value of of this asset begin to have a rethink. So the fact that you have a stable currency does not mean that it's truly stable because most of these cryptos have always been algorithm uh, based stable uh, cryptocurrencies. These are something we have always talked about, but uh, when you go through them through experience, you will learn to understand that uh, this person was not just wish talking or talking because he has theory but it's necessary with these people will have to pay attention to somebody who have an, an opposing view. I remember we have talked before now of, of stable currencies that have uh, a one is to one ratio, which means for every one stable currency, like one USDT or one USDC, there is a reserve uh, dollar backing it. And most of these cryptocurrencies like uh, USDC is regulated. Uh, and, more attention now is being turned into stable currencies that are backed by one is to one uh, ratio and also uh, those that are regulated on, on the other hand. Uh, algorithm based stable currency may not survive uh, the future of cryptocurrency because investors are now snake bite careful. They want to make sure where whatever they are using as stable currency actually have a certain level of stability uh, with it. Eggs actually hold with uh, most of those stable coins that are still surviving uh, at this point. Thank you so much, Gilbert. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Laddie.